Move over, be ready. We have a new kid in town. But this here could be the simplest portable power pack on the internet. Okay guys, this is the simplest portable power pack that I've ever seen on the internet or YouTube or anything like that. It's basically just a battery, 50 amp hour energy lithium ion phosphate battery and it's just got two connections with XT60s here. Um, this smaller 16 gauge wire unfused and I've got a 14 gauge with a 10 amp fuse. Okay, simply just plug in a cigarette lighter adapter. I made this plug up, just using the XT60 connections. So from there, I've got a portable power pack. Can't be any simpler than that. I can plug pretty much any cigarette lighter socket device into this. Um, yeah, I can run kettles and fans and run um, lights or whatever. So when I'm out camping, all I can do is take this battery, a simple cigarette lighter connection, chuck in a, a handful of USB chargers, and I've got a perfect little power pack. This watt meter is just for um, reference, just to see that it's you know what type of power we're getting out of this um, battery. This is not needed at all. This is just there, just to show you guys that, um, yeah, that it's actually working and it's actually doing some work. I picked up this little energy battery a few years back for around $230, I'm pretty sure. But I have seen um, eco-worthy 50 amp hour batteries um, at the moment that come up on sale and with the sale, uh, they're around $237. So, yeah, very, very cheap. This can be used with a 100 amp hour battery, it doesn't really matter. 200 amp hours, it's still going to work. I'm just using this for example because it's got pretty much the same capacity as the Blue Yeti. As you can see, now I've plugged me kettle in. You would have seen this kettle many times if you watch my videos but the kettle is in now during 111 watts yeah just a very simple portable power solution for when you're out camping even emergency power yeah just another example that solar and portable power or that doesn't have to be complicated doesn't you can keep it very simple very cheap this is just a 50 amp hour battery with a simple socket and then from there I can charge and do lots of lots of work just with a simple setup like this. This um, 14 gauge wire with the XT60 connections at the back here, that's obviously I can use to plug in a small inverter. So this can start off very simple. And as we progress through this video, I'll, um, we'll do small upgrades to this system and we'll slowly turn it into a more usable system. Obviously, yep, it can start off as simple as a battery and a cigarette lighter plug. And we'll slowly step up to a more and more usable system. The next evolution of this system is using just a simple um, 12 volt accessory panel. Um, the advantage with this is you've got your voltage so you can see the voltage of your battery. You've got two of your ports here, cigarette lighter ports, and you've got two um, 5 volt USB A plugs there as well. $45 for something like this similar. You probably get cheaper online, generic brands all fused every one of these ports is fused which is good and as you can see I'm charging my O-Light charging this power pack I'm running a kettle as well just this is all just for example of what you can use 
with this yeah about 130 watts this is just there this doesn't have to be there so if you just had a battery with these connections to a 12 volt port then you've got a little functional system here for under three hundred dollars these videos are just to give you guys ideas of how you can set up your systems um, yeah just letting you all know that you don't have to get too complicated in making these systems you can um, go with whatever budget you've got to make a system work for you guys so yeah for under three hundred dollars this would be a good little camping power pack um, add that with a small charger uh, lithium iron phosphate charger you can get those cheap as well for around 30 40 dollars then yeah it's a good little potential setup once again if you're finding value out of these videos please give us a thumbs up um, subscribe hit the comments up what are you guys uh, thoughts I read every comment and I yeah cheers guys for all your support so I picked up this lithium ion phosphate charger it's a 14.6 volt 10 amp charger you can get these for around 36 dollars Aussie dollars on um, eBay comes with two fuses and some alligator clips the end there so I pair this with this little system here so you can charge it before you go out camping then we're starting to look like a more functional system starting to get a little bit cluttered guys but this is just an uh, example of what you can do as you can see here now I've got a small cheap can inverter plugged in to this unit as well now and now we've got AC power coming out of this system I can run fans and laptops and whatnot these little can inverters aren't really recommended for sensitive electronics so keep in mind um, if you wanted to pay a little bit extra get yourself a pure sine wave inverter it's going to run a lot better with this system this is just for example only um, of what you can do with this system all this with your your charger um, you probably pick all this up for under oh, excluding the kettle and, and the power pack and all that obviously but with this that and the inverter the charger probably under five hundred dollars another idea I did see guys instead of using this 12 volt accessory panel you can pick up the battery boxes now with inverters already pure sign wave inverters already installed so if you just dropped this battery into one of those boxes I'll put up the, the thing on the screen here I think they're around $170 but came with the box it's got your voltage ports or your fuses all that um, your cigarette lighter ports your USB chargers and it's also got a 500 watt inverter inside as well so if you just drop the battery inside of that then yeah it'll be a, a lot better option you bought that battery box bought a battery to put it in combine that with a charger then you're good to go guys but as you can see 13 volts 142 watts coming out of this battery obviously using a little bit to run this as well so we're probably up and up around 160 170 watts coming out of this battery very cool I reckon guys just giving you some ideas um, this can start off really really simple as you have seen at the start and then you can slowly get more and more complicated but this essentially is the simplest portable power pack on the internet maybe maybe not might be a bit controversial let us know in the comments and we'll wrap this video up cheers guys and i'll see you on the next one